What's up, YouTube? This is Nate coming to you with another break, and tonight I'm opening up 1990-91 to 91 NBA Hoops Basketball. This is the Series 1 box. You can pick it up super cheap. You can find it on eBay for $20 to $25, um, and it has lots of Hall of Famers in it, as well as Michael Jordan. What you're looking for in this box is, of course, the Michael Jordan base, the Jordan All-Star. You're looking for a Sam Vincent card that features Michael Jordan on it in a uh, jersey that isn't the one he typically wears. And you're looking for Mark Jackson, who um, in the background pictured on the card are some famous people that are famous for all the wrong reasons. So, um, so that's what we're looking for. Also, there's some rookies in here, so it should be a fun rip. Before I jump in, I want to give a shout out to my friend David, who hooked me up with a few of the cards in the back. He gave me the Jordan, Robinson, and Bryant. Um, and I just really uh, like the design of these cars in this set. It's 1998 Skybox Z-Force. So they're not overly valuable, but they look really cool. And I'm happy to have, um, you know, a couple um, all-time greats in that. Also, in the last video, I was hunting for Ken Griffey Jr.'s uh, with my family. Uh, spoiler, we pulled two. Um, but we had a lot of fun doing that. And um, in, in the spirit of Ken Griffey Jr., I want to give a shout to my good friend Dan, who has a YouTube channel called Sad Man Baseball, and he actually has a great video on Griffey Jr. as well as the Mariners franchise. So he does a fantastic job talking about the team, talking about the players. He highlights uh, three of the players um, in the Mariners franchise, and uh, it's just a great video, um, really entertaining. The editing is top-notch, professional stuff. So check it out. It's Sad Man Baseball. The video is titled Seattle, Seattle Mariners. Um, I will put the link in the description below. And just get it on the ground level. Go sub on his page uh, because he's already got a really strong base. And his first video ever, you know, kind of went semi-viral. Um, even if you're not a baseball fan, I think you would enjoy it. And his stuff is definitely worth a watch. So, yeah, so that's Sad Man Baseball. Um, and that's uh, the Seattle Mariners. So I'm going to jump in, uh, see what we get. Um, again, 1990-91 NBA Hoops, 36 packs, 15 cards per pack. Um, and hopefully we can get some uh, candidates for grading. Um, so we'll jump in. So let's just so I'll just take all of these out. I'm not going to worry about displaying it all pretty um, because we're just going to mess it up anyways. And I need all the space that I can get. So yeah. Thinking I maybe should have did this before the video, but I just like cutting open the cellophane. There's just something satisfying about that, and then jumping in here. So. uh yeah, so here we go. I don't know if I'll get through the whole box today. Um, it's a lot of packs to go through, and uh, I usually um, kind of have a big mouth. Um, so uh, so we'll see how far we get. Um, I don't know how many Jordans um, I can expect to pull out of here or other cards, uh, but we'll, we'll see how far we get and uh, go from there. So I'm going to jump right in. All right, so it looks like maybe the All-Star card is on the back when we open it up. So uh, So that's interesting. So, uh, first one, Akeem Olajuwon, and it looks like right off the bat that these cards are not in great condition. Uh, the centering is pretty poor on there, as well as the edges. So, hopefully, um, the cards aren't all like this in the box. Um, I mean, it was a cheap box, but we are definitely looking for a little better quality than that. So, B.J. Armstrong, Mark Price, Reggie Miller, uh, that's a good player. That guy, Sidney Green, Bob Hansen, and it looks like we got another all-star in here, so... Um, so I don't know how many to expect per pack, but uh, certainly it'd be nice to pull a, um, a Jordan. And this guy, actually, Delaney Rudd, um, we'll go ahead and take a look at this card. I feel like, yeah, so he went to Wake Forest, um, and I think he is a local teacher. A friend of mine has a bunch of his autograph cards, so that's kind of cool. And there we go. Uh, that's a good-looking Magic Johnson. Um, that's his all-star card. Um, again, if you look down here, um, there's some kind of issues around the, the edges on the card. Um but that's in much better condition than that first one. But still, it's a sweet card. Um, if I can't get any candidates for grading, I'm not going to sweat it too much. Um, it's nice to go through and um, just get all the players that I like um, out of these packs. Um, and again, for $20, um, you know, I'm not looking to make a fortune off of these with uh, any of the cards that I pull from it. But uh, yeah, hopefully the condition isn't that way the whole time. It's another cool card. Magic Johnson, uh, MVP. Uh, looks pretty good. Um, you know, got some... You know, some some wear on the corners there. Not what you want to see. But And there's Glenn Rice, a great player, a rookie card here. Uh, played for the Heat. Um, talked about him a lot in uh, one of my last videos. Played for the Hornets. Uh, great shooter. Um, underrated. 
So yeah, so that's uh, so that's what we want. So we're looking for Sam Vincent with that that Jordan card. Uh, this perhaps his brother Jay Vincent, maybe not. Um, but yeah, and there we go. That's a cool card. Um, Isaiah Thomas, All Star. Um, talked about him in my uh, video where I went to depth about the Dream Team. He was not on the Dream Team, and um, some would say he was snubbed, and others would say that um, you know kind of uh, that was done, you know, to help recruit Michael Jordan, but uh, certainly a good player. Uh, played on the Pistons during the Bad Boys era. I think he went back-to-back -back, uh, with championships. So, so yeah, let's see what else we get here. Pooh Richardson. That's my wife's uh, favorite name of an NBA player. Chris Mullen, uh, Dream Teamer. Scott Skiles. Oh, so here it is. So here's the Mark Jackson. Uh, not in great condition. Centering isn't great. But uh, if you look in the background there, I suppose it's on the left. Uh, those are the guys that are famous for um, being bad people. So, uh, so yeah. So I guess I don't know if we want to call that a hit or not. But, um, but yeah, that's it's uh, interesting to say the least. There's a Dominique um, All Star card, so that's cool. And I believe this is our man Fat Lever. Yeah, Lafayette. Oh, so that's his real name, Lafayette Lever. So. Put some respect on this guy's name. Uh, so he um, he's a great great player. Recorded 46 triple doubles during his career down there at the bottom. So that's uh, I think that's seventh or eighth all time. Uh, it's more than Michael Jordan. So uh, so yeah, it's a good card to get. All right. And you know one thing that I'm seeing with these cards, you know, which is kind of the the story on a lot of these old ones. Uh, so I talk about, um, you know, how if we pull a Michael Jordan, it has the potential to be worth $100. Or, again, that, that Mark Jackson actually sells for about $300 in a PSA 10 on eBay. Uh, Thurl Bailey, here we go. Shout out to the Wolf Pack. Um, so condition is, is really the um, – I think this guy played for Virginia. Yeah, there we go. He's a good player. So condition is really the, the thing that um, drives the value of these cards because uh, there were so many produced uh, – Shout out to Tom Haverford there. It's his favorite player. There's a sweet Larry Bird, all-star. Um, and you can just tell that, you know, for this in specific, um, a lot of these aren't centered very well. Um, and that's usually the big offender. Um, but even these have some kind of some white edges um, and some uh, corners, although this pack looks a little better. Um, but that's that's the thing that drives all these cards. And um, I've had, had a guy take a look at some of the cards that I've pulled um, so far, you know, some of the Jordans that I've pulled so far on the channel, and unfortunately, the majority of them, you know, have, you know, they probably aren't candidates for grading. Uh, probably some of them are candidates for like a nine, which is, you know, the next best rating that you can get from PSA. But, and there's a sweet Reggie Miller right there. But, you know, the story is, is that so many were produced, the quality control is so low that um, it produces, you know, kind of low populations of, uh, gem mint cards and so that's what really drives the value up on so you know we pulled a couple griffies in the last video um i don't think any of those were really candidates for a, a psa 10 so the difference between a 10 and a 9 is that a 10 can be worth well over a hundred dollars or you know in the case of that mark jackson it can be worth 350 dollars in the case of some jordans like his all-star card and another set it can be worth that much but then you know you get a nine and it's worth 20 and it costs you know about that to grade it by the time you send it and pay for shipping. There's a sweet Barkley. So yeah, so um, so these certainly aren't, you know, you, you might hear me talking about getting a, a $30 or a $25 box or $30 box and pulling a bunch of $100 cards. It's not that simple. Um, it's possible, um, but, you know, again, with the quality control, there's a reason the cards are so expensive. So there's a sweet card, Dennis Rodman. He was uh, played with Isaiah, Defensive Player of the Year. Probably one of the scrappiest players to ever play. And there's Stockton and Drexler, so this is a good pack right here. Both of those guys, uh, Dream Teamers, Hall of Famers. So yeah, so um, the, the design on these is a little plain. And uh, there's Nate McMillan, a uh, big reason why I changed my name to Nate uh, back in the day. My full name, of course, as you know, is Nathaniel the Spaniel. That's my last name. Um, so AC Gree All-Star. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty simple. Um, Danny Ferry, he played for Duke. Uh, so that's cool. Shout out to uh, Duke and Christian Leitner back here on the corner. Had a lot of Tar Heel coverage on this page, so I need to balance it out. <coughs> Excuse me. COVID. Um, but yeah, so um, so yeah, the design is pretty plain, but you know, if you get some of the players that you like, you know, you, the photography is pretty fun. You can just kind of look at the picture and 
and you know it'll kind of take you back so there we go that starts off really good uh thomas barkley ewing so you know there we go three good cards there sam elliott rookie sam perkins there's another tar heel damn marley so this is a good pack um but yeah so it's pretty simple um and hoops has come back um in the um the modern cards you know so with and that's a good card uh phil jackson a good one to pull uh, with zion and john morant and uh, some of the guys um hoops is um, one of the sets that you can buy now and but you know of course basketball is crazy right now so um but yeah so these are some of the more simple cards that i've opened not uh my favorite but again you know i just I, i'm kind of just making my way through the boxes you know trying to enjoy um you know some of the old cards because i had some of these um in my collection growing up um so it's been a lot of fun so you gotta you know just open what i can get uh, so there's another rodman all-star so, I mean, that's, I mean, like, like that, that's, you know, the, the design is simple, but I mean, it's just cool seeing them dunk and, you know, doing cool things like that. So, so I really enjoy, you know, opening these and, you know, so there's a sweet rookie. I had that growing up, Sean Kemp. He was one of my favorite players. So, uh, so we'll definitely take that. Um, I, I had that one again, growing up, I had this parish as well. So it's, it's nice to kind of fill out the collection and kind of see what, you know, some of the other players, um, were and here's another rookie um the story of this guy is what could have been uh, i think he was tragically killed um at a young age um and he was a you know uh looking like he was gonna be a great player out of yugoslavia so um got a couple of his cards so actually we'll put him over here so yeah so it's just it's cool to you know open up and see all these players you know that um that i grew up watching and uh you know seeing their cards in um in the sets um that i didn't have growing up so, yeah, so let's see what else we can get. I feel like I'm talking a bunch, so sorry about that. Start talking about the cards a little bit. So Nick Anderson, rookie. He's a good player. Uh, played with the Magic uh, during the Shaq and Penny era, I believe. Del Negro, I think he was a wolf pack. Uh, shout out Mark. Um, I think he played on just about every NBA team. Definitely a journeyman. Stu Jackson. All right, so we hadn't hit a Jordan yet. Uh, we hit the Mark Jackson, uh, not in great condition. Hadn't hit the Sam Vincent. So uh, so hopefully we can get some Jordans. Uh, I've watched a few videos on this, and I think one of the guys that I watched uh, pulled three out of the box. So, oh, that's sweet. Look at that. Just a D-Rob rookie. So uh, that's sweet. Um, so I'm going to put that in a sleeve. Uh, that's a highlight. David Robinson, the Admiral, uh, played with Tim Duncan. Uh, I think they won four or five championships together. Um, got him in the back right here. Also got him on the box. So, uh, so yeah, I don't have any extra, any extra stands. I was ill prepared, but I'll definitely take that. I wasn't expecting that to be in the set. Um, I try and do a little research on the sets, but I was thinking that was in series two. So there's our man right there. Fat Lever. Look him up if you haven't. Good player. Kevin McGill. That's a Celtic right there. All right. I think we hit a Magic Johnson earlier. I don't think we've seen a bird. I um, always like to get them, the Jordan, Magic, and Bird, and that's kind of the, the trio that you want to get. So Spud. There's another wolf pack there. I think they had better players in the NBA back then than they do now. Mark West. Ken Norman. Greg. Look at that guy. That looks like the 80s, early 90s. There we go. That's cool. David Robinson, all-star. So I like this all-star set. So it's cool to kind of get all the good players in that set. I'll probably try and build that. Um, yeah. So, and it's, it's a lot of fun ripping uh, cards with other people, especially, you know, um, if you kind of make it a little competition or if you kind of like we did in the last video, I had a lot of fun ripping with my little nephews and brother-in-law and father-in-law. So there's our, our Larry. It's a sweet card. Got a Vlade rookie. We like him. He's a Celtic. Big Kobe Bryant trade. Reggie Thuce. Mark Aguirre. All right. There's a Scotty. It's a good card. Jordan's number two. All right. See what else we can get here. There's Doc Rivers, his coach. Dale Curry. It's the Curry boys' uh, dad there. He's a good player in his own right for the Hornets. Um, 
Him and Glenn Rice could have been the first appearance of small ball, but didn't shoot enough threes. There's another Dookie, Johnny Dawkins. Hope he comes back to coach for us. This guy, Rolando Blackman. I don't think I've really heard much about him. He might be a candidate for putting respect on his name. So, yeah, I'll have to check up on him later. So he was an all-star that year, so he must have been decently good. And this guy, that's a good-looking dude. All right. Oh, so we got another one of Rambus here. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be a duplicate pack right here. So what do you think we're going to get another? Let's see if we get another Blackman Dawkins in this pack. Let's see what we get. So we got Doc. Oh, it might have changed up a little bit. Oh, there it is. Johnny Dawkins. Rolando Blackman. Yep, so the collation is very, very predictable in these old sets. There's all there's a uh, Rambus. I saw him as soon as I opened the box and then flipped it around and saw Doc and I was like, well, there's our duplicate pack. Which if it's got a Jordan or you know uh, strangely a Mark Jackson um, in this set, then that's what you that's what you want. Okay, I thought we had something there. I saw the Michael J. Oh, there we go. So base set Michael. So it's a cool card going up for the dunk on the heat right there. Looks like maybe Glenn Rice in the background. Um, you know, card is, you know, beat up pretty bad if you look at the edge right there. So that's what, that's what I mean when I say edge damage. So you got the corners, you know, uh, which are, you know, showing a little white. And then you got the edge. If you look at the centering, it's not terrible. Um, you know, it's actually, you know, reasonably well centered. Um, it's maybe a little off, you know, one way or the other. But um, there's some surface damage. If you look above his head, you can kind of see the color loss there. So... So this box is, you know, definitely showing its age, but um, still a cool card to get. Um, definitely not disappointed pulling a Jordan out of this. So this is his base card, as I talked about earlier. So you can pull a base, and you can pull and an all-star. Um, and so, yeah, so we'll put that back there. Oh, wait, I've got some of this pack left. Let's see what else you can expect to find in there. So we got the Tar Heel. Um... Robert Parrish, Dana, Chuck Daly, Dream Team Coach. Horace Grant, played with the Bulls, had some sweet goggles in his time. Carl Malone, definitely don't want to pass him up. The Mailman, great player, never won a championship. Him and John Stockton were very good together, um, but, you know, they were just fighting against, uh, of course, Jordan and during that time and you just couldn't couldn't get it done so there's an Elijah Wan and a Malone another Glenn Rice so yeah oh look at that there's our all-star Michael Jordan so yep uh, the edge damage it's beat up pretty bad um, reasonably well centered so you know this I mean this might could come out as a PSA 9 or something like that, um, but definitely a sweet card. Um, glad I pulled it. You got the All-Star jersey on, you know, shooting shooting a shot. Looks like the All-Star was in Miami that year. So uh, those games are always fun to watch. You know, they're definitely an exhibition, but, you know, just going back and watching some of his games, you know, um, definitely a fun thing to do. Larry Brown. So we did, there we go, back-to-back -back packs with Jordan. Um, can't complain about that. It's definitely what we want. Let's see how many. Did, did we just pull that? Michael, I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, so there's a Patrick Ewing. I think I had that card growing up, so that's pretty, pretty fun. Okay, so here we go. So let's talk about this card. And, uh, this looks like it's in, you know, reasonably decent condition. Um, you know, the edges do look a little worn. But uh, so the the big the big thing about this card, um, you can see the whiting up here. Um, but the story behind this card is that Jordan is wearing the number twelve jersey, and so um, from from what I was able to find out, this is the only game he wore that jersey, uh, wore that number. Uh, it didn't have his name on the background, and, and what happened is is before the game with the Magic, uh, it was back in nineteen ninety, um, his jersey shortly before tip was stolen. 
Um, and so they had to use a replacement jersey to um, for him to play. And so they had this, you know, number 12 jersey, didn't have his name on it, um, so he wore it. I think they ended up winning the game. But um, this is the only game he wore the jersey, and this is uh, this card is kind of a the documentation of that. So, I, you know, it's the only card where he's wearing that. Um, so this card, you know, is a valuable card if you can find it uh, in a PSA 10. It's worth about $125. This isn't going to tend because of the edge damage. Um, but it's cool. It's, it's got a great story. Uh, happy to have it. Um, add it to the collection. But yeah, so a um, little bit of history with that one. You know, not just a cool player on a card, but um, an interesting. It, it's interesting that that uh, that picture, you know, made it into the line. You know, of all the ones they had to choose from, um, you know, ended up. You know, the picture on this card for this year is the that twelve jersey that he wore that one time. So, pretty cool story. All right, Tom Chambers. Don't know a lot about him. I know he's got an All Star card and another set. But I'll have to do some reading on him. So, yeah. So, we've got all the chase cards uh, out of this uh, now. We've got the base Jordan, the all-star Jordan, the Sam Vincent, the um, Mark Jackson, and uh, the David Robinson. So, and boom, there we go. There's another Jordan. So, we're on a little bit of a hot streak here. Um, you know, looking at this one. Um, again, you know, the, kind of the story of this box, you know. Uh, it's different for every box, but it's just the, uh, this is in better condition than the other one, but it's still got some kind of edge damage around it. If you notice up there on the top right, you can see it. And then the, uh, on the right side here, you can kind of see it. But yeah, sweet card. Um, definitely glad we pulled that. So again, I, you know, one of the videos I watched, you know, the guy pulled three uh, Jordans. Um, here we are uh, on pace to, I mean, we've already tied that, you know, so who knows how many we can get in here. Some of the Carmel on. But yeah, so I'll put a sleeve on that, um, and uh, we'll keep going. And that's what I like about these old boxes. I mean, you can pull, you know, a bunch of a uh, bunch of the players you like, you and pull a few of the good ones. So I can, I can trade them or share them or give them to people, uh, sell them, um, and then just you know kind of make you a little collection. So we've got this one before. We're gonna have two or three good players here at the top. Yep, there's Carl Malone. Kevin Johnson, he's a pretty good player in his own right. Craig Hodges. Boom! Michael Jordan All-Star. There we go. So let's take a look at this one. See the condition on that. So, you know, um, if you look down here at the bottom, you can kind of see this, uh, see that whiting down there at the bottom. Not what you want, but still a cool card. Uh, so we've got two base and two All-Star. So that is... That's legit. It's a good box. Um, if it weren't for the condition, there would be, you know, um, a lot of upside on this in terms of uh, value. Um, but so here we go. Is this another one? I feel like we just saw this guy. Reggie Miller. I'm getting all kinds of deja vu with this box now. It's oh, so there it is. Yep, there's that Sam Vincent card again. Um, same, you know, bottom edge damage, um, still a cool card. So we are, we are knocking it out with the Jordans here. Steve Kerr, uh, Warriors coach. Another Tom Chambers. And that guy, shout out to Chad. That dude looks like Tyler Hansborough. So we'll just turn that one upside down. Called Gerald Henderson. Just kidding. That was dirty what he did. All right. Now this guy, Higgins. There's a Pippin. There's a nice Mitch Richmond, another underrated player for the Warriors. I think uh, the more basketball, you know, the more popular their cards get, the more people will realize, you know, how good of a player Mitch was uh, for the Warriors, and his cards will go up. James Donaldson. Shout out to uh, our friends, uh, Jeremy and Janelle. Lenny Wilkins, another uh, assistant coach on the Dream Team. Danny Ainge. It's Kevin Johnson, All-Star. Yeah, so uh, we got got a few more packs here. Um, you know, I don't know if I'll open them all or if I'll keep going. Here we go. There's another Higgins, and there's another Pippin. That's crazy. Another Mitch. And then it kind of changes up a little bit. We got the Sean Elliott. 
Um, that wasn't in the last pack, so it's not a 100% duplicate, but it's, it's, and the order is a little weird, but, you know, very much the same or similar to the other one. So, um, it's pretty crazy. One right after the other. Could you imagine walking to a card shop, buying two of those packs back in the 90s, getting home, opening it up, and they're the same pack? That would be a little weird. Okay, so these are turned around. Ooh, look at that. The photography on that is awesome. And I love how the uh, the ball is outside of the border on this picture. And I don't know if that's uh, unique to this Dominique or if that's you know kind of par for the course on some of these, but that is a that's a sweet picture. I'm gonna have to keep my eye on that. Okay, so there we go. There's a Tim Hardaway rookie card. So that's one you want to get. So it looks like that one's going outside the border too. I thought we maybe had some kind of error card there, but yeah, both of those are really cool. Kenny Smith, Tar Heel. There you go, Chad. Another Lenny Wilkins, Joe Dumars, he's a good player. And then Mookie, liked him a lot as a kid, rookie card. There's that Hansborough looking fella again, Joe Wolf. There we go, Chris Paul. Chris Paul Mullen. All right, Stacy King, Sherman Douglas, Kelly Trapucka, Hornet. Moses Malone, it's our first one of him. Kind of spoil in the back there. Mike Brown, Chucky Brown, and John Stockton filling out the set here. That's a cool card. Liked him a lot as a kid. I mean, just crazy assist numbers over his career. Chris Mullen, another great uh, warrior shooter. Just an all time great three point shooter. King, another Cliff Robinson rookie card. It's a decent player. Mike Jaminski, look at that mullet. It's crazy. He was a dookie. Kenny Gaddison, James Worthy, another Tar Heel. And that's interesting. That's a new one. Chuck Daly and let's see, Pat Riley. So I don't know what's going on there. Oh, so that must be the all-star coaches. Yeah, okay. So there's the uh, all-star teams. So if you want to pause the video and think about who was on the teams. So let's see if there's anybody surprising here to me. So got Fat Lieber on there, Kevin Johnson, and then uh, I don't know, Rolando or Tom Chambers. So that's fun. Good story behind it. Oh, okay. There you go. That's interesting. NBA Hoops Distribution, Durham, NC. So that's not very far from me. So, didn't know that. Danny Manning. Wake Forest coach no more. Brad Daughtery. NASCAR announcer. That's cool. J.R. Reed rookie card. Byron Dinkins. What do we know about him? Oh, okay. UNC Charlotte. Undrafted rookie. Well, he's pretty good at UNC Charlotte. So, uh, there we go. It's not far from here. So, uh, that's a cool card. So, Drexler. All right. So, there we go. Byron Dinkins. I wonder how his NBA career turned out. Need to put some respect on his name. Okay. Thought we might have had a bird there. Larry Drew. Okay. Another Rodman. Another Miller. We like him. There's another Mark Jackson. Let's see how this... This looks like it's in better condition. Um, it's not perfect, but... Uh, you know, I guess that's one, of, one that you want since it's worth so much. Larry Drew. So I'm not seeing as much uh, magic or bird out of this set. Uh, in the last basketball video I did, we pulled like, I think it was 11 magic and uh, six bird or something like that. I think I've seen one of each. So there's a Doc Rivers. I think it's our third pack like this. There's that Sam Vincent again. Yep. So put that up there. Thurl the Squirrel. Actually, I think it was Thurl the Pearl. Lenny. 
David Robinson, another David. All right, let's see if we can get another Jordan out of here. Maybe one that's in good condition, somehow miraculously not so beat up like the other ones. Mark McNamara. It's the last name of the people. Oh, there we go. Last name of the people who we bought our house from. And that looks pretty good. Um, you know, a little bit of edge wear. So probably not a PSA 10, but uh, that's sweet. So, I mean, we've pulled a ton of Jordans out of here. So, um, great for the collection. Um, it's not all about the, uh, the money or the condition. You know, most of the cards I have in my collection, you know, from being a kid aren't in great condition. So, there you go. Bill Versace. Another Rolando Blackman. So... It's fun to pull these and I'll have them to kind of trade around with some friends or sell to help fund the hobby and open some more boxes. So we'll see. We will see. All right. Another Hakeem, but we got a Carmelo on right here. Oh, no, Charles Barkley. Okay, hadn't got that one yet. So we'll take that. It's a cool card. Pat Riley, Heat Coach. Another Kenny Smith. There's a little bit of variation in there. And that's nice. But we've definitely seen a lot of these before. There's a caramel on. Can't remember if we've gotten that one already, but definitely take that. All right. We got a few more packs here. Let me clean off some of the. Oh. So we got one, two, three, four, five. I think we've already pulled three, six, seven, eight, maybe Jordans. Or I should say five Jordans and. Um, Three of the Sam Vincent, two of the Mark Jackson, so pretty good success uh, in terms of ratios. Um, Charles Smith. Oh, there's another rookie. Take that. D Rob, the Admiral. The Moses. The Phil. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Mm. Another Jordan. All Star. So this is a great box. Great, great box. Before grading was a big thing, uh, this would have been a very good box to get. All right. I'm definitely not complaining. I mean, for 20 bucks, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Sam Bowie. Robert Parrish. Brad Davis. Look at this guy. He had the mud flap in the back and the stash in the front tom chambers so we can find out about him all right 23 points per game average in all-star history oh wow okay so i guess that's the number of points that he scored in the all-star game perhaps maybe that's 87 all-star game and his team was seattle i don't know i need to Take a closer look at that, but I guess he was all right. Tom Chambers. And this is uh, 1990. It's a little bit before my time. Um, I was born in 88. So um, I remember a lot of these players, but uh, not from playing in 1990. Oh, sweet. There we go. Another MVP Magic. Another Glenn Rice rookie card. Oh, that's good. Akeem Olajuwon. John Williams, not the composer. Another Kevin Johnson. Gerald Henderson. Okay. I wonder if this is the uh, Gerald Henderson from uh, Duke's dad. I don't know. All right. Two more packs. Let's see what we get out of here. Let's see if we can get a bird. Oh, wait. Is this going to be the same pack? Are we going to get a Hakeem and Kevin Johnson out of here? The Dominique and the Vlade and the Ewing is different. Uh, we have seen this pack, but it wasn't the one we just pulled. There's another lever or lever. Need to look that up. Johnny Dawkins, Joe Dumars. All right. Last pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic. All right. Tim Hardaway. Sean Elliott. So that opens with three rookies. There's another one of those fun cards. Kiki. D. 
steal of me. Horse Grant, no goggles. John Stockton and Eddie Wilkins. So yeah, so that was a great box. A uh, lot of good cards out of there. Um, probably gonna build a set of the All Star and kind of look over, um, you know, some of the the base of players that I like. Um, again, the condition on the box, uh, the cards, you know, wasn't amazing, um, but um, still uh, a lot of good cards out of here. Uh, pulled a lot of the ones we want. So I think there's. So we actually did get a bird All Star there. So that was that was good. And then I was wanting to pull that one out. So there's a magic. I think we got a couple of those. So of this, um, for this box, we got, let's see, I think we got two D-Robs, a couple of Vincents, let's see, three All-Star Jordans, and three base. Okay, so yeah, so we got three base Jordan, got three All-Star Jordan. Got three of the Sam Vincent with the Jordan in the uh, the 12 jersey. Sweet story. Got two of the D-Rob here. And I think we got two Mark Jackson. Um, I pulled that one out, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we got two of these. Again, you know, it's not, not why I would want to have the card, but, you know, people collect for different reasons. So, yeah, it's a great video. Uh, thanks, everybody, for uh, checking it out, and uh, I'll, I'll catch you next time.